Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News Update. Our top stories, one person is dead after an early morning house fire. This is on Goodman's Hill Road in Sudbury. Fire officials say the victim was found inside the house. And right now, the identity of that person hasn't been released. A police officer did try to go into the burning home, but couldn't get very far. That officer was taken to a hospital for smoke inhalation. Two other people who were able to get out have also been hospitalized. Closing arguments in the Adam Montgomery murder trial today after the defense did not call any witnesses to the stand. Montgomery was not present inside the courtroom. He's facing charges of second degree murder, second degree assault, abuse of a corpse and falsifying physical evidence in the death of his five year old daughter Harmony. The defense argues that the prosecution's star witness Kayla Montgomery is lying about Adam hitting Harmony and ultimately killing her. She's lying because she has something to hide still, because the truth points to her. Adam did some very, very bad things, but he did not kill his daughter. Authorities believe Montgomery killed the girl in 2019, but she wasn't reported even missing until almost two years later, and Harmony's body has never been found. Simpson Road in Pelham, New Hampshire is closed until further notice while crews work to repair this massive sinkhole in the middle of the roadway. Sky Eye over the scene today. Police say a culvert that runs under the road collapsed. And so that sinkhole is larger than they initially thought. The road is expected to reopen sometime tomorrow. It's another sunny but cold day here in New England. Let's get a check of the latest forecast with meteorologist Jason Michael. 30s, 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 Paula. We just cannot seem to get ourselves out of it, but we stand a really good chance of making it up to about 40 degrees today. This is where my forecast highs are going to be painted across the board. Less of the blue, a little bit more of the kind of the, the vague greens moving back in, indicating the warmer weather moving back in also. So we still have high pressure performing for us, okay? As it departs over towards the east, we allow for some more unsettled weather to move back in, and this is going to be the theme of our weather story for the end of the day on Thursday and certainly have Heading into Friday. So let's take a closer view here. As you can see, more clouds beginning to develop across the area on Thursday. This is tonight, okay, roughly around 6 p.m. Our high is well off to the sea, and we're throwing back that easterly wind. And again, as I like to say, easterly winds are more unsettled winds. You know there's a change of coming once we get that high to move out towards the east. Once we get into the day tomorrow, we'll have more, more of a southerly flow move back in. We'll start to fan in more clouds moving in from the west over towards the east, and we'll begin to first see that happen over towards west. Western Mass. This is the drive at five. Okay, Worcester shrouded in a lot of cloud cover. We'll have some veiled sunshine inside the 495 corridor. Even in the Merrimack Valley, I think you'll still be seeing a plentiful sunshine there, especially around the sunset time for you tomorrow. We'll keep the lighter winds roughly at 5 to 10 out of the south here, but riding right along the spine of Appalachia, we'll begin to see some snowflakes develop across Western Mass roughly around bedtime for us on Thursday night. Think 11 p.m., think 1130, and certainly by midnight as the colder air moves on in. We have that cold splash of air coming in from Canada, but riding right along with it just before the frontal boundary moves in will be a warm front lifting north across the area, and warm front typically brings sort of, I like to say, pesky type of showers. Nothing too heavy and nothing too turbulent moving back in. But there will be cold air on the north and also westerly side of this area of low pressure. And as a result, we'll pull in some of the north winds, but most of the snow will stay outside of the Boston area. Perhaps we'll have that little bit of that rain snow line dip down into northern mass. But again, from Worcester eastbound, though, we'll still be in the warmer sector. So plenty of moisture. I think we'll likely make it up to maybe in the mid to upper 40s as far as the Cape and the islands are concerned before we begin to settle things back down. Think in terms of the upper air pattern, okay? Frontal boundary crisscrosses the area on Saturday, Sunday. We'll have that notch of cold air moving back in, and then we flip the script a little bit. This is what happens for us once we get into Monday and Tuesday. A plume of warmer air moves back in along the Atlantic seaboard, and that'll take us into the final days of February. Believe it or not, 50s closing out February, okay? So as far as our uh, daylight tracker, we're lengthening the days, but also seeing that sun angle go up as well. With that sun angle going up as we get deeper and deeper and also closer to the spring season. And look at this, our average high temperatures begin to skyrocket, certainly by the month of March. So our 
blizzard-like conditions that we could be normally expecting in the winter season quickly begins to fade away in probability once we get into the month of March. Here's our next weather forecast. As you can see, the next seven days, a minimal threat for a roller coaster, but again, up and down we go, Paula. 30s today, 40s tomorrow and Friday, back into the 30s on Saturday and Sunday, and 50s. Look at that, sunny and milder with a chance for a sprinkle or two late in the day on Tuesday. Sounds back good. over to you. Jason, thanks. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.